Hey, what's going on? You're watching Wingsound.com. I'm Rick. And I'm Mateo. And in this video, we're going to be taking you through a quick tour of Aviary's new online DAW called Mina. There's a great new tool and resource for everybody looking for a free and quick and easy to use audio editor. To use Mina, simply log on to aviary.com and create your free profile. From there, you'll be able to access all of Aviary's tools, including Mina, as well as their graphics and image editors. So now let's take a look at Mina's interface. We'll go and take an overview of what tools they offer us and kind of how the workflow works, as well as dive into some of the basic audio editing and mixing features Mina provides us. The top left-hand side of the screen, you'll find your menu bar. From here, you can save, edit, view track information, and view session size. To the right-hand side of this, you'll find your zoom in and zoom out buttons, as well as Mina's editing tools, which you can scroll through by hitting the tab key. Below the menu bar, you'll find your undo and redo buttons, as well as an overview of your whole session, which makes it handy to find your way within your project at any time. You can also zoom in and out by contracting the window. To the left-hand side of your timeline, you'll find your snap to grid option. Engage this, and anytime you move any segment around, you'll always keep on grid. Below your snap to grid option, you'll find all your channel strips. Here you can rename your tracks by double-clicking and renaming. You could solo each instrument, mute, and access the automation information for each region. From here, you could automate fades, your gain, as well as your pan for each track. To undo automation, simply go to Edit, Clear Fades Automation, Clear Gain Automation, and Clear Pan Automation, and we're back to normal. Below your channel strips, you can access your audio files by hitting the Imported button. Here you can find all the audio files which you've imported into your session. By clicking on the Library button, you can access a collection of samples and loops provided by Quantum Tracks. From here, you could click different genres and preview. If you like that, you could simply drag it into your track. On the bottom portion of the window, you'll find the transport bar with the loop on and off switch. To the left of your transport bar, you'll find your tempo, which you could change by double clicking and hitting apply. You'll find the master volume for your session, as well as the record button. To record audio, simply click on the record button, start your recording, welcome to Mina. Stop your recording and hit import to project. Rename, save, and you'll find it in your imported files where you can preview. Welcome to Mina, and drag into your session. Let's take a look at some of the basic editing features Mina provides us. We have a trim tool, which you can resize your clips. You have a loop tool, which allows you to instantly and effortlessly create loops by clicking and dragging out. Mina also allows for more creative edits, such as reversing audio. To do so, click on your audio clip, choose reverse clip, and if we solo this, we'll see how it reversed our audio. To undo, simply click the undo button. You can also add effects to your audio by simply double clicking on the audio clip, choosing any effect of your choice. I'll choose a reverb. Set the parameters. You could preview. And apply the effect. So as you can see, mine is a very simple tool to use. You can create your audio, you can mix, you can edit, you can export, and you can share all your music. And it's a really great tool. So to use it, simply log on to aviary.com and click on Mina. It's a great tool. If you have any further questions, you can always get in touch with a great support team. They'll help you out with any questions you might have. Or if you'd like to see a video done on any of the things that Mina provides, simply send us over the question, Rick or Mateo at wingsound.com.